package. I want to shift gears a little bit over to the airline industry, as I saw you know, coming across the moniker a little bit earlier that the Justice Department has, in fact, filed suit against JetBlue and Spirit in an attempt to block that merger here between these two relatively small airlines in the overall travel sector. But uh, as far as whether or not this deal will go through, I, I continue to think it is a pretty big question mark. I was going to ask you what your prediction would be. I would lean towards it doesn't go through. If they were to merge, it would create the fifth largest airline in the U.S. But from a competitive advantage standpoint or from just a diversification of pricing options out there, Spirit is the low-cost provider. JetBlue does not play in that space. And early indications are that if they were to go through with this merger, that they're going to repurpose Spirit more similar to the way that JetBlue prices its fares. And you need that low price option in the market to provide competition. And Spirit occupies that space right now. I was looking at flights for Florida later this month, and Spirit, the price differential between them and American and United was so dramatic that I was so close to pushing my wife to oh, I just did saying I, I wanted to and she said she didn't want to fly for so our I February vacation we, we did spirit because the price difference per ticket it's huge. to go on our now granted we're flying during school vacation week mm. so shame on us in the first place but it was a 30 to 40 percent price difference I and when you're buying it for five kids yeah or five people and not, I don't have five kids everybody <laughs> Not yet. I'm crazy, not that crazy. Not, not yet. Uh, it was it was you know thousands of dollars. So yeah, we flew Spirit, and guess what? It was fine. Didn't miss a single connection, and I know that that's a coin flip these days, but mm. uh, it was fine. Uh, honestly, the only airline that I'm really willing to pay up for at this stage is Delta. It is. I one like of it, the better ones this, out the, there. The experience that I've had with all the other ones, whether it's Southwest, American, United, uh, or even JetBlue, it, it's. The only one that I genuinely have confidence is going to do right by me is Delta at this stage. Does Spirit pull a Ryanair and run ads through their flight? Or no. Like during the flight? Uh, yeah. No, no, okay. there, there weren't. It, but it's what's it's, the biggest know, limitation? Is just add on for anything basically that yeah, you so, check um, or carry on. So a okay. carry on bag was. Do you get one or? more expen? No, no it's free carry ons. Personal item only. Uh, each carry-on is more expensive than a checked bag. Um, okay. I think it was 60 bucks per carry-on. The seats, I would argue, were a little bit less comfortable than mm -hmm. a Delta Airlines seat, in my opinion. They're a little bit thinner. Uh, no TVs in the back of the seats. They're sure. not going to be interested in maintaining that. I do believe they had internet available for purchase. But, I mean, anything that you want. You're going to be charged for it. But for us... The for trick that I learned uh, years ago when I was on either Spirit or Frontier, was you, you tell the stewardess that you have medication that you need to take, and that's how you get your free water. <laughs> Wait, they, ch they charge for water? Oh, yeah. Wow. Charge for everything. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so, but honestly, like, that's okay. Yeah. I was paying $3,000 less right, for a round-trip right, flight right. to go to on school. That's like, what you're paying okay, for. Okay, got it. You know, I'll prepare for that. Now you have me regretting not just forcing her to do Spirit. Cause just well, God knows us. if you had booked it, we, you know, you would have been delayed by three days. So. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we nearly true. were. Right? So, you know, I'll, I will say that on every single flight, they were way overbooked. And okay. you know, we're desperately trying to get people to take, uh, to t take seats elsewhere. Again, school vacation week going from... This was going from Florida to Boston, uh, so yeah, th there was some some significant overbooking. Uh, on how those. about your prediction on this merger for JetBlue and Spirit? This seems to be the type of merger that the Justice Department has been able to convince judges to reject in the past. So I go to Staples and Office Depot, albeit you know there's more competition today in the airline space than there might be in the uh, in in this space today there's nothing you can point to here. Like at least with Staples and Office Depot, they were trying to point to Amazon as a competitor in a different space. That doesn't exist here, right? Like, I mean, if you go take a look, I'm looking at data all the way back from 2018, uh, just because I was trying, trying to find data on 2019. I don't think any data is relevant for, you know, 2020 mm. through 2022. Mm -hmm. Southwest Airlines made up a fifth of domestic airline capacity. Uh, this is by passenger count. Uh, Delta Airlines was 16%, American right behind at 15 followed by United at 11 and then nobody else made up more than five. 
Hmm. So you're taking JetBlue and Spirit here, combining them. You are, you know, you're making a real competitor here to to those major national airlines. You're making them close to 10 percent of total uh, total passenger volume. And to the point, I mean, JetBlue, uh, in a statement, where was the, I underlined this. So JetBlue has said that it plans to strip seats out of Spirit's comparatively cramped planes and repaint the airline's exactly. bright yellow jets. Mm-hmm. All of that to me reads, we're trying to buy the capacity that they have, and we think we can profit more on their offering. Mm-hmm. Right? I mean, we're going to strip out a few of the seats, make the seats bigger, maybe more comfortable. And guess what? It's going to be a lot more expensive to fly on this previous... I, I do not think, and they have made no attempt to say, that, you know, for instance, the um, T-Mobile Sprint merger. Mm-hmm. It was very public. They were kept making promises. We will never raise prices on these customers that we are you know, acquiring here. We, we're going to you know, guarantee those chucks on one of those plans that's basically guaranteed to not go up. Um, that doesn't seem to be the statement that's being made by JetBlue here. They don't intend on operating Spirit as a continued discount airline. Right. And so in light of that, I, I think, again, will this harm consumers? Argue the counterpoint to me. And Spirit, like, how is it not going to harm Spirit consumers? has admitted that themselves because, as you recall, we covered this extensively last summer. There was all this back and forth where Spirit did not want to be acquired by JetBlue, and they are quoted as saying a JetBlue acquisition of Spirit will have lasting negative impacts on consumers. The other argument that I've heard is, oh, well, Spirit's so unreliable that uh, you know JetBlue will clean up their act. Guess what? In 2022, JetBlue ranked worse than Spirit in terms of reliability, according to uh, according to the Wall Street Journal. Uh, they were the last on the list of companies that they actually ranked. Uh, what about Southwest? After the year they had, they Southwest missed. was number three. So huh. they were number six in terms of on-time arrivals and canceled flights. Um, Wait, is that the Wall Street Journal thing? Yeah, this yeah, is the Wall so Street Journal the note 2022 about, airline scorecard. The note about Southwest was that was done before, before the, the chaos. Whole chaos. Okay. Right. It had to be. Yeah. yeah. Had to but be. even then, they had a number. I mean, involuntary bumping from Southwest was number eight. But, I mean, JetBlue. Uh, so they ranked them on on time arrivals, canceled flights, extreme delays, two hour tarmac delays, mishandled baggage, involuntary bumping, and complaints. The only category. So these are out of nine airlines that they ranked. The only category that JetBlue did scored better than a seven on seven out of nine mm-hmm. was involuntary bumpings. They got they got the fourth rank on that one. So congratulations mm-hmm. there. But worst ranked airline across the board. Worse than Frontier. Worse than Spirit. Worse than Allegiant. Worse than Southwest. Surprising. So, They've had such a good reputation. Maybe because they're so local to us. I think they did. But it's and I think it's deteriorated. Hmm. I, I just, you know, initially when they came out, it was exciting, right? They had TVs in every in every chair. That was a big draw. Um, I don't care now. I can download all that content on my phone and watch it the entire flight. That's what I did on Spirit. It was lovely. 